Hey friends, I'm Mel and welcome to my kitchen. If you have been around here the last few weeks, you've been hearing me say I've not been to the grocery store. I've been putting it off. The weather has been so rainy and I've just not wanted to go, not even to do a pickup order. I've been wanting to get to Aldi and I know you guys have missed my Aldi hauls, so that's what I did finally today. And this one's $186. I got a lot for my money. And if you'll stay to the end, I'm gonna make a new chicken salad that I've just kind of been lulling around in my head. I'm gonna try it and see how it turns out. So let me show you what I got, and then we'll make some chicken salad. If you have watched my Aldi hauls before, you know I really like to stock up on canned goods there. But what I really needed this week was the fresh fruits and vegetables, a few snack and lunch items, and some dairy and stuff like that. So let me show you what I got. And we always have to start down here <laughs> with the toilet paper and paper towels. I was down to hardly any of those. Over here in the salty snack area, I got some of the pub style pretzels. We love these, hadn't had them in a long time. And then I just got some regular tortilla chips. And then I got me some of these multi-grain ones. I am really, really liking those. I've bought those three or four times now and I just love them. And let's skip these for a second. I got two bags of the sea salt pita chips. These are very good. Both of the girls and me like these, and this is just the cheapest place to get these. This bag is nine ounces, and I can't remember how much it is, but I'll put it up on the screen. If these little guys right here caught my eye, because you know, if you've been here, I love Funyuns. I've had knockoff Funyuns before, and they don't taste puffy. They taste like hard. These guys right here, they are very close to a Funyun. Me and Patrick has both tried these now. I can't wait for Maddie to get home and try them. These are very much like a Funyun. Very good deal on those. All right, freezer stuff. I got Patrick a box of waffles. And then I've got like a pack of four hamburger patties. I think I'm going to fry some hamburgers this week. I got some non-fat Greek yogurt. I'm gonna try to make my chicken salad with this, and I'm also gonna try to substitute this like when I'm eating sour cream. I'm gonna try that little switch there. And I got me some snack yogurts, and I've had them before, they're all good. I got some of the non-fat Greeks, the strawberry on bottom, blueberry on bottom, raspberry on bottom. Also got a tropical fruit, and then these are my treats. They're whole fat, and really, you gotta watch yogurts because they're high in sugar too. But anyway, it's better than a candy bar. I love this one, toasted coconut vanilla. I love that. And I've never gotten the key lime. It's always out when I'm there. So I got those to try. I got a pack of deluxe cheese singles. I got some spreadable butter. And then I've got a pound of regular butter, two packages of cream cheese, I got some frozen butternut squash and some California medley veggies. And I got a pound of my good old Jamestown irregular sliced bacon. This stuff is so good. And I paid a little bit more for this. The other one was on sale, but it did not look as good as Jamestown. Let me open this. Look how good. Look how good that bacon looks. I just, I paid more. I... I got a thing of vegetable oil. Vegetable oil has gotten outrageous if you've looked at it lately. Like canola even is more than this. And then it's crazy. But anyhow, I got that. Got some pancake syrup. I noticed Patrick was running low. Got a couple of cans of crescents. And if you guys saw my video with my buddy Reed where he was making me his Gouda grilled cheese, that is in stock all the time there. But I saw this one, and this is Applewood Smoked Gouda, and I had to try it. He used the Scorpion. If you've not seen that video, I will link it down in the description box. Reed did an amazing job. Such a great young man. Y'all were so kind to him in the comments. I thoroughly enjoyed having him at my house, cooking in my kitchen. We will have to do it again. I got some whipped cream cheese also. I got some oven-ready lasagna. I've got a box of saltine crackers. They're hidden down there. And I got a box of their club brand of crackers. I got a box of vanilla wafers. We like to snack on those. 
Got a bag of sugar. I got a box of the onion soup packets. I use those for a lot of recipes and things. I just always grab a packet of taco seasoning every time I go to the store. I got three cans of this white chunk chicken breast. This was only $2.99 there. And this is something that I like to keep in my pantry just to have it on hand. And I was completely out. And you know, this is good because it's shelf stable. The same thing with like some of the sauces and stuff like that that I'm getting. I like to have some things that are shelf stable. So if I want this just to eat, it's good to eat, but if I want this to put in a recipe or something like that, or if I just need it for something, I've got it and it's back there in the pantry and it lasts a long time. I also got this, this right here. Everybody eats this. As long as I've been shopping at Aldi, I've never bought this, not one time, because I always get my pasta sauces on sale cheaper at Kroger. But I wanted to see if this was as good or better than anything I've ever had. I got a box of penne pasta. I got a can of cooking spray because Aldi's the cheapest place. I'll just grab a can every time I'm there. Got some real bacon pieces. I showed you just the regular salsa. I got some baby deals. Then I got this little pineapple salsa. I've not had this in a really long time and I thought that would be a good snack to have with those um, tortilla chips, those multi-grain ones. I'm just trying to do a little bit better on my snacks. I've got a can of whole kernel corn and some cream style corn. I got a can of crushed pineapple. I didn't have any of that left in my pantry. And I got a can of pineapple chunks. This is also something I like to keep on hand because if I get to want some pineapple, this is totally delicious. Just to open it up and pour it in a little bowl and get it cold in the fridge, it's yummy. Got a couple of these small cans of tomato sauce and then a couple of these small cans of tomato paste. I got hamburger buns to go with our hamburgers. I got a loaf of honey wheat bread and another dozen of golden eggs this week <laughs> they're so expensive i did not get anything in the aisle of shame tonight i had a piece of bakeware picked up but i put it away this is the really i guess the only splurge item i got and these are chocolate truffle hearts look at all the ones that's in here and i thought we would just share this as a family it's 12 hearts. We don't need any more than that. This will be Valentine's for all of us. I got some little jellos to go in lunches. And I got some of these smaller size tortillas because I've just been wanting some smaller ones to like eat tuna salad on or something like that. I've never seen these before at Aldi, but Maddie loves the Cosmic Brownies from Little Debbie. And I thought I would give these a try since I was there. I got Patrick a box of peanut butter Nutty Bars, he loves those. Little pack of these peanut butter and crackers. And every time I get these, I'm always so impressed with how delicious they are. They are so fresh. I've never got a bad pack of those. Got another big box of fruit snacks. For the longest time, we couldn't find these at Aldi, but their fruit snacks are really good. And I got Patrick some Swiss rolls for his lunch as well. Got a pack of green onions. Got a three pack of bell peppers. I got a head of iceberg lettuce and some green leaf lettuce. Also got a bag of spinach that I can put in wraps or just throw in to make my lettuce go longer too because this will last a little longer than lettuce. Some grapes to go in that chicken salad we're gonna make and just to eat. I got some little grape tomatoes. I got a bag of pink lady apples, a bag of yellow potatoes and some sweet Vidalia onions. Guys, that is the grocery haul. That's pretty good nowadays for $185. Granted, I didn't have much meat, but dairy is expensive and everything's expensive. So let's try this chicken salad. I'm going to start making the dressing mixture for the chicken salad and I'm using a plain non-fat Greek yogurt. You could also use full fat. This is the first time I've ever made it with yogurt 
So I'm just going to start with about a quarter cup, just a small amount. I'm also going to put in just a little bit of pepper and salt and just a little sprinkle of some garlic powder. And I did decide to use a can of chunk chicken breast. And I'm going to chunk it up just a little bit more. And I did drain it just as good as I could. Now I'm going to add in a little bit of this fruit that I've chopped up. I'm going to use some apple. Some celery would be really good in this. and give it a pretty little pop of green. But I did not have any celery. I'm just, I'm not a big celery fan. I only eat it in stuff like this. And I feel like it is a waste when I buy it. Now let's mix it up and give it a taste. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of my apple and grapes in. This chicken salad looks like it can handle that much more. And this was half of a small apple and a handful of grapes. I don't know how many, but a tip I have for your grapes. I always just used to cut mine in half for chicken salad, but I felt like they were too big in my bites. So I've started quartering mine. Okay, let's give it a taste. It's my first time ever making chicken salad with yogurt instead of mayonnaise. This might be a life-changing experience. I wanna get a little bit of everything in this bite. Okay, it's all right, but it's missing something. Let's give it a little more salt. Let's give it just a little squirt of some lemon juice. See what we got. Clean fork and let's give it a taste. That helped some. Let's give it a little squirt of this Dijon mustard. I don't normally put mustard in my chicken salad, but it's just missing something. You know what else? Even though this is sweet with the fruit in it, I'm gonna cut up some onion and put in here. I think onion might be what we need. And what the hey, why don't we just throw in another little spoonful of that yogurt? Can't taste it anyway. <laughs> Let's put a little more pepper too. And some garlic. Just went a little light at first because I've never made it like this before. Okie doke. Let's give it a try with a little bit of onion. Okay. It still ain't that great. I'm going to go with this little cup of mandarin oranges. Chop them up just a little. Just a little rough chopping. That'll give it a little juice and sweetness. And I do put mandarin oranges in my chicken salad sometimes anyway. You don't realize how good mayonnaise is until you try to replace it with something else. <laughs> it's hard to find something that's better than this Duke's mayonnaise in chicken salad. Okay, this is the last spoon I'm dirtying up. We're just going to go with it. Let's try it. That helped a lot, but it still ain't as good as my regular chicken salad, but it might be better for me. Let's just throw it on some wheat bread and see what it tastes like put together. It's a really pretty chicken salad. It's got lots of pretty colors in it. You could definitely eat this on a bed of lettuce or something like that, but now we have some of these left. These little sandwich thins, they're good. But the whole reason that I'm eating mine on regular bread is because I get the heel. <laughs> it was a new loaf. Does anybody else like the heel of the bread? I love it. Let's just cut her open and look at it here. Maybe having this big heel right here will make it all worth it. It ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. Once you get it on bread, it ain't bad. But it ain't what I really, really like. Also, it might taste better after it's set. I'll let you know. And let me say, this tasted so much better after it sat for a while. My daughter came in later to get some for dinner, and I tasted it again. Time made such a difference. I don't know why. I didn't think about that. Just making it and eating it right as soon as I did was definitely not the thing to do. Trying to prepare things differently than what you're used to and in a healthier way, manner it's definitely a journey and it's a process it's not going to be something that comes natural or overnight but let me know if you have ever made chicken salad with greek yogurt i would love to know what you put in it to actually just give it some more flavor like 
Somebody tell me if you found a Greek yogurt that tastes like Duke's mayonnaise. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> Seriously though, leave me a comment and let me know how you zhuzh up Greek yogurt. Thank you guys for being here this week. I hope you've had a good time. I've also missed grocery hauls. They're a lot of fun, aren't they? A lot of you are telling me you're missing them and you ask, are you going to keep doing them? I will as long as you keep wanting them. So let me know in the comments. Give me a big thumbs up if you did enjoy this one. And you know, I would rather go one big trip and one small trip a month than to have to go every week. That's just how I roll. Thank you again so much for being here. And until next time, I send you love from my kitchen.